What is going on you guys? I hope you're all having a graceful day. Before we get started with today's TC to-do list, I want to give a huge shout out to LA's Fit for sending me out these light bulbs, these LEDs for the TC because as you guys can tell, this one is out. And then on my license plate as well, as you guys can tell, there's only one that's on. So I'm really excited to put these on. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to put these on before we get started with all the custom work that we got to do to get some more progress on the TC. So these are, they do seem to be a lot brighter. 400, 400 lumens is what it says on the back. So we'll see if they're a little bit brighter. So I got the new LEDs installed. As you guys can tell this side is way brighter, way brighter than what this side is. This one, st this one is, still, is still a little bit bright. But this side is way, way brighter. This is the new one we installed. Let me turn off the lights so you guys can see. Look at that. Yeah, definitely way brighter. Over here, I think I have to lower the ISO. There we go. You guys can actually see a lot more right there. Look at the license plate light. And the license plate light, you can definitely tell way that it's way brighter than the other side. Look at the floor. You can actually see the floor. If I cover this up right here, this is the one, the new ones we installed. Look, you can't even see the floor. You can barely even see the license plate. Let go of it, boom. Hell yeah. That is definitely brighter than what I used to have right here on the car. So I'm really stoked on how these came out. I wanna give a huge shout out. I don't know if you can see me. I don't think you can see me, but I want to give a huge shout out to LA's Fit Auto Lighting for sending me these LEDs. If you guys want to check them out, I'll leave a link down in the description down below so you guys can go check out their page. They have a whole bunch of LED stuff, um, accessories and things like that. So go check them out, guys. Picking up this video up from where I left it off yesterday. I'm getting a really late start already because I've been working on my carbon fiber hatch, getting it ready so I can get this thing sold. And I actually just finished getting it ready today. Um, for anyone that's interested, my carbon hatch is for sale. 350 the only thing that's wrong with it is where I fix the Kaminari holes where they used to have some small spider cracks these four holes when I added the new resin I added clear resin instead of adding like uh, the resin that uh, companies use which kind of yellows over time so what ended up happening is you can actually see the new resin that's added and then you don't see it all the time you just see it when like depending how the sun hits it sort of so you don't actually see it that often but when you do see it it's, it's noticeable um, that there's new resin that was added compared to the old resin that's already on the hatch the other thing is that this piece right here where my mom ended up backing into me and as you guys know right here it ended up cracking I ended up fixing that I ended up fixing that crack but you can still see some waviness right here the whole reason why I didn't level it out was because it was gonna take too much time to do it I just ended up fixing it because the garnish piece that goes right here ends up covering that piece so you're never or ever going to see that piece the, my only concern was stopping the crack so it doesn't continue so that's not really a big issue if you're considering buying the hatch the other piece that was right here that I added resin surprisingly it kind of blended into here so you don't really notice it so that's a good thing about that big old patch piece that was right here so everything is good to go like I mentioned the only thing is that you do see sometimes during the sunlight is the new resin that was added but if you are adding a Kaminari spoiler you're not even gonna see any of those resin spots and you're gonna have a perfectly good hatch. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave my email down in the description down below. I also have my Instagram tagged right here. So if you guys wanna send me a DM, you guys can send me a DM if you guys are interested. I'm not shipping it. You have to pick up uh, anywhere close to San Diego, LA area, or where I live, the Imperial Valley, which I'm not, pretty sure not many of you guys live here. So um, San Diego, LA area, just let me know. Hit me up in the email or hit me up on my Instagram. Another thing, my wheels. Wheels are for sale. And I know what you guys are wondering. Jesse, why are your wheels for sale? Because I finally paid off my new wheels. And I'm going to, by the time you guys are watching this video, I probably already have them. And they're, they're, they're going to be pretty sick. So there's no need for me to have these anymore. So I'm going to be selling them. I believe I posted on my Instagram for $250. I think it was $250. Yeah, $250 if you want them. There's light curb rash on two of the wheels. These two don't really have it. The other one has like some decent amount I think it's this one yeah this one has some decent amount right here but you can always sand it down it's gonna take some time but you can sand it down and get them refinished and all the lips need to be recleared as well um, so these wheels are gonna be for sale 250 whoever wants them 
just the wheels, no tires. So now that I have all that taken care of, I already said everything that I need to say, let's actually get started with working on the TC. So what we're gonna be working on today is the Kaminari side skirt. If you guys watched the video where I installed the side splitters, you guys would know that it was hard to do because the, the side skirt was a little bit wavy. And the reason for that is because I bought the side skirt way in, I mean the, yeah, the side skirt way in advance in order to do uh, the flares in order for them to like line up perfectly onto here. So I've had these sitting for quite a while and that's the reason why it like started being wavy. But I feel like if I were to mount it on the car, like if it was brand new mounted on the car and within like six months, I think the bottom would have already been wavy no matter what I did. So my solution to fix the waviness, even though I let it sit out in the sun right now, it's not as wavy as much, but you can still see some spots are still wavy but my solution to that is i bought carbon fiber sheets i'm going to be cutting it out into like little sections like this i'm going to put it right here and i'm going to put it all along the bottom side of the side skirt and i'm going to glue it onto there hopefully with that and the sides the side splitter squishing the side skirt well this polyurethane side skirt this piece right here it's going to be able to keep it as sturdy as it can and it's going to be straight the whole entire time of its whole lifespan that it's going to that it's going to stay on the car finish clamping down all the carbon fiber with this just in case if you guys are curious this urethane adhesive it's from scotch roll 620 dp 620 ns black and i ended up using two cartridges for this whole entire side skirt good thing that i bought another two which is that one and the one that's where's the other one at? right there um so two per each side right now i'm just waiting for this to dry since i used all the clamps i have to clamp this all down and then once I get it all dry, I'll take it off and I'll start doing the other one. Pretty much done with the second side skirt. I'm just going to let these sit overnight. That way they're fully cured tomorrow morning. The other one's, I mean, semi already cured. So that's why I took off all the clamps and started doing this one. But for tonight, we're done. We'll continue this in the morning. For these, if you guys saw the video of when we drilled these holes to fit these rubber well nuts, the rubber well nuts were not actually biting onto this. So... Now I need to plug up those holes so I can use actual rib nuts so I can put it onto there. And the reason I have to plug them up because I have to redrill the holes because these rib nuts are a lot smaller than this one. Yes, I can use a lot bigger rib nut to fit onto there, but the hardware I want to use is something simple and small that you can find at any hardware store. I don't want to like be finding like big old bolts and whatnot. So I'm gonna attempt to fill in those holes with this welder that I bought, this plastic welder with all these rods and whatnot. It's the first time I've ever tried anything like this. The reason I bought it was so I can do the repair on the front bumper right here because the body shop ended up doing, I mean, they just they just covered the crack and they just filled everything with body filler, as you guys can tell. I mean, it's just a thick old layer of body filler. So that's the reason why I bought the welder, but might as well, since I need to plug up these holes, let's do some testing onto here and see if I can plug them up.
I got the holes filled in as you guys can tell it honestly worked very well I'm very pleased how it came out they're both all these four holes are all plugged up surprisingly this but the bar when I took the, my bumper to the body shop to go get this repaired I feel like they didn't even use a plastic welder because you can tell all this pretty stuff and all like it's not even smooth at all and over here what I worked on over here filling this is like perfectly smooth it's like smooth on top because of the flat tip that this welder has as you guys can tell it's a flat tip so you're able to smooth it out so what I feel like the body shop used like they didn't have probably the proper tool they use what's for electrical this soldering thing and they probably use something like this to solder that piece up right here so that's kind of what I'm getting the impression of because of how well I did the job right here so I'm, I can't wait till I use this but on that piece over there so this is all good all I have to do now is just body work I'm gonna sand this up get it all primed up cleaned up and whatnot so it's ready to go back on the car for tomorrow once this is like perfectly good we're gonna lay that over there and we're gonna drill those holes again and then we're gonna put the rib nuts onto there and we should be golden So I finished getting the rib nuts on the side skirt and I added a little bit more plastic, uh, welded a little bit of plastic around there and I welded on the back side just to make sure that they don't back out. So now that we got all that taken care of, there is more things that I wanted to get done today but since I have the wheels already, my new wheels, my dream wheels, I have them here at the house already and I'm excited to put them on. So that's what I want to do right now but I'm going to do, I'm going to film another video putting those wheels on so even though I needed to do a lot more things on the TC today we're gonna uh, postpone that to another video the next video that you guys see is going to be me putting on my dream wheels so let's hope they fit I'm hoping they fit aggressive fitment but hopefully we're gonna get them to fit so that is where I'm gonna end today's video guys I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you guys on the next one revealing my dream wheels peace out and embrace yourself Thank <laughs> you.